Mr. Speaker, amid a busy schedule of family vacations, the Prime Minister squeezed in some visits to Canadian steel plants. In Saskatchewan, he visited Evraz, where they manufacture pipelines. The Liberals' abdication of federal leadership on the Trans Mountain Pipeline is hurting Evraz, the prairie oil and gas sector, as well as the Canadian steel industry. Can the Prime Minister reassure Canadian steel workers that construction on Trans Mountain will start this spring? Yeah. Well, call the Secretary to the Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As we continue to say, the environment and the economy go hand in hand, and we continue to support the energy sector in a variety of ways, including the approval of the Trans Mountain Pipeline. And I'd like to add a number of other pipelines as well, Mr. Speaker. The expanded export capacity for the Alberta Clipper, Nova Gas Pipeline, Line 3 Replacement Project, and the key, our support of the Keystone XL Pipeline. Mr. Speaker, I could go on and on. Our government has approved the Trans Mountain expansion, and we stand by that approval. Thank you.